Which breed of dogs can jump higher than buildings? Any dogs, because buildings can't jump. The Havanese, a Bichon-type dog, is the national dog of Cuba, developed from the now-extinct Blanquito de la Habana, little white dog of Havana. The Blanquito descended from the also now-extinct Bichon Tenerife. It is believed that the Blanquito was eventually cross-bred with other Bichon types, including the Poodle, to create what is now known as the Havanese. Sometimes referred to as Havana Silk Dogs, this was originally another name for the Blanquito de la Habana. Though it is a toy dog, Havanese are sturdy and not overly delicate. Most are 10 to 16 pounds, 4.5 to 7.3 kilograms, and 8.5 to 11.5 inches, 22 to 29 centimeters, with the ideal being 9 to 10.5 inches, 23 to 27 centimeters, at the withers. The body, measured from point of shoulder to point of buttocks, is slightly longer than the height at the withers, giving the dog the appearance of being slightly longer than tall. The length of the body results from the long ribcage, not the loins. The coat is long, soft, lightweight, and silky. The Havanese coat is slightly wavy, profuse, and undulating. Unlike other double-coated breeds, the Havanese outer coat is neither coarse nor overly dense, but rather soft and light. The undercoat is sometimes completely absent. The Havanese coat should be very soft, almost cool to the touch, like unrefined silk compared to the Maltese coat, which feels like refined silk. However, in some dogs the coat can become too silky, looking oily. On the other end of the spectrum, Havanese coats can be too harsh or cottony, giving a frizzy appearance. The Havanese becomes very attached and are very loyal to their owners, often attaching to one person especially whom they will closely follow. The Havanese is not suited to be alone all day. Although the Havanese is an active and lively dog, it is small enough that much of its exercise needs can be met in a house or yard, and it therefore does not require as much vigorous exercise as other breeds. However, exercise is still necessary for this breed to be happy and healthy. Havanese are generally healthy and sturdy with relatively few serious health issues. They typically live 14 to 16 years. Havanese organizations, such as the Havanese Club of America, monitor genetic issues to prevent propagation within the breed. Because of the Havanese's friendly and readily trained nature, it is used for a variety of jobs involving the public, including therapy dogs, assistance dogs, such as signal dogs for the hearing impaired, performing dogs, mold and termite detection, and tracking. Havanese also compete in a variety of dog sports, such as dog agility, flyball, musical canine freestyle, and obedience training. A Havanese costs between $1,000 and $1,500, but some prices are as high as $2,500. This price fluctuation can depend on many different factors, namely availability, pedigree, and the experience of the breeder. Two dogs walk over to a parking meter. One dog says to the other, How do you like that? Pay toilets. Nice. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more bad jokes and general knowledge about dogs.